Welcome to this week's market update report for the week ending September 17, 2010. This is the time of the month where I go through the previous month's sales results as well as the absor absorption reports. Now, the absorption reports are really telling us where is our demand and supply right now in today's market. And the supply and demand theory is just so critical in today's real estate market that I believe by staying on top of that and, and knowing where that is, it will help all of us to really understand where we need to go with the real estate market um, in the future. So let's start out. I have it county by county. Let's start out with Dodge County. And for those of you that are, are new to our weekly market report, what I do once a month is report the new listings and closed sales in each county in this area and separate them by new listings and closed sales. So if we look at Dodge County for the month of August, we're looking at the fact that new listings actually decreased 27%, but closed sales decreased at a, at a more rapid rate at you know, a little over 38% in the month of August. And if we look year to date, New listings are down almost 4% and closed sales are down a little bit over 3%. This ratio, the ratio between new listings and closings has to be farther. What hopefully we're looking at uh, in the future is that new listings will continue to decrease and closed sales will continue to increase and that will help us get our balance between supply and demand a little bit in, in, in a little bit better shape. So if we look at Jefferson County, uh, you look at the month of August, up 1%, 1.6% in new listings, down 43.6% in closed sales. Year to date, the new listings are still up 13% and closed sales are just sneaking in uh, a little bit over, over even there at 1.4%. At Washington County, if you're looking at the same new listings, uh, almost even. Close sales, though, in, in the month of August in Washington County, almost down 58%. And then year-to-date, new listings are up 3%. Close sales are down almost 7%. Look at Waukesha County. You're looking at new listings being about even to last year in the month of August, and close sales actually down 27%. Year-to-date in Waukesha County, again, new listings uh, compared to last year, about even, and closed sales are about even as well. The next screen really shows us the absorption reports and the supply and demand, and, and, and I will uh, separate this out by county as well. To have a normal and balanced market, we want five to seven months of inventory on hand at all times. Anything below five to seven months of inventory you're, we are going to have a seller's market. Anything above five to seven months of inventory, we are going to have a buyer's market. So we're looking at balancing that inventory in that range of about five to seven months. And when we look at Dodge County, right now the months of inventory are sitting a little over 13 months. Jefferson County is a little bit over 17 months. Washington, about 14 months in Waukesha County about 11 months. So you can see that we do have a ways to go here in reducing that inventory. And once we reduce it and get it back or closer to that five to seven months, the closer we get to five to seven months, the better prices are going to start, the better chance prices will have to increase and obviously better for all the homeowners and, and, and sellers out there. So we do have a ways to go. But um, we have to keep plugging away at it little by little. If you have any questions at all about today's report, um, contact your agent or certainly contact myself at shorewest.com. And again, the reason we do this is really by being knowledgeable about today's real estate market. We can keep the market moving in the right direction. I want to thank you and make it a great day.